Hey, what's going on, fellas? I'm Favstar, and in today's video, we're talking about framing. I'm diving into my brand new dock renovation project, starting with the classic dock storage shed. So if you're interested in seeing how I turn this into this, then welcome to Lake Life. My dock reno begins with the construction of a dock storage building. Later on, I'll attach a timber frame style tiki bar and finally complete the project with a dock slip, wrap around, bar rail seating area. I'll be posting weekly videos detailing every step of the project. So if you're interested in following along and seeing this project through to completion, then hit that subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications so you don't miss an episode. Without further ado, let's get framing. Now because we're building the shed on an existing dock structure, our foundation is essentially completed for us. To prepare the site, I've gone ahead and cut away the decking surrounding the dock shed perimeter. That allowed me to apply an L flashing to the entire perimeter of the shed, which will prevent water from penetrating the shed subfloor. Now not only will this extend the life of the shed, but it'll provide easy deck removal in the future when the deck boards need replacing. Ready to raise our wall. 
The key to raising a wall safely when working alone is to attach temporary wall bracing to your wall with a single screw. This will allow the bracing to fall into position as you raise your wall. Then simply secure your bracing to the decking and your wall is safe. Okay guys, so for our header material, we need to be three and a half inches thick to match the two by four construction that we're going with. So I found this piece of plywood in my pile of scrap wood. So we're gonna slice that up and that's gonna fill up the gap between the header to make it a perfect three and a half inches. For our gable walls, I decided to use balloon framing. Balloon framing is a style of framing in which the wall studs are allowed to run uninterrupted from the sole plate right through to the roof. As a result of this, our gable wall studs will need to be cut at the appropriate angle to match our roof pitch. A quality home wrap will function as a weather resistant barrier which will prolong the life of the building by preventing moisture from entering the wall assembly while also allowing water vapor to pass through to the exterior. The door and window openings can be cut away and secured to the jams with sheathing tape. I'll be stick framing the gable roof using 2x8 lumber with an 812 pitch. 
Now I've opted to go with a 2x10 for my main ridge board. Since this roof will be exposed from the underside, the ridge board will extend below the rafters, providing a cleaner look. To prepare the rafters, I select my straightest rafter board. Carefully measure and mark all of the required cut lines for the plum cut, bird's mouth notch, and the rafter tail. This first rafter will become our master rafter template, which can be traced and copied to create the remaining rafters. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, remember to click that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys on the next one.